We're finishing Ang's journey and his story. Book two is coming for season two. And we're going to see Toth. Oh my God. I wonder if they're going to go full woke and choose an actual little blind girl. Or they're just going to choose a girl, a regular little girl that could resemble her and put fucking contacts on her. I don't know, but I'm excited for Toph for season two. But the most thing, actually, out of all of season two that I am excited about, get ready for this. The Boulder. The Boulder challenges you. Dude. They could get Dwayne The Rock Johnson to be the Boulder cameo in the episode, and it would be so fucking perfect. He just has to do a Randy Savage voice, but he, he's the Boulder. The Boulder's here. That's so fucking badass, bro. I want that so bad. In anything in fucking season two, I'm going to start campaigning on Twitter and X. To have Dwayne The Rock Johnson come out as a cameo as the boulder in season two of Avatar, bro. I will not rest until this happens. That's all I'm going to say. But we're also getting season three, which is book three, which is fire. We're getting that too. And uh, I'm excited for that. I'm excited for that too. Because the best thing. Out of book three that I love so much is the Easter Island players. The time where they go to the theater and they see the entire three seasons acted out by amateur actors. <laughs> and Ang is played by a little girl. <laughs> Toph is played by a big muscly guy. It's just the best fucking parody of everything they've been through. I just want to see that. And if I could see something similar to when they went Taika Waititi, the only thing he did in those Thor movies is when he did that play with Matt Damon being Loki and shit and Sam Neill being Odin. If they do something like that, it would be so fucking amazing. Joku, you're right. Metal bending. Metal bending. But, dude, I'm sorry. The greatest memories I have is season two, the boulder. <laughs> I love, I know he's a nothing character, but I love it when he comes out the boulder. And then season three is the Easter Island players episode. To me is the best fucking thing ever. Oh my God. Um, I can't wait. I can't wait. And I'm so happy that this got renewed two seasons because at least Netflix is committing we're going to finish the story, even if it's not a hit, next season. Because, look, it premiered to, I think, uh, 22 million views or some shit like that. I might be wrong. It might be 2.2. I don't know. Some shit like that. 22 million views. I'm throwing a number out. This week, it went down to, like, 18. But that's still a lot of views, man. Uh, they say that every other show, though, that's been a hit, like One Piece, that the views actually go up the next week, etc., etc. So, but it doesn't matter. They committed, and now they've said we renewed it for two more seasons. So at least they're going to finish the story. Here's where my big, uh, dun 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 comes in. Let me take a a drink for this before I start ranting. To you haters, these actors are going to get better. I promise you. I believe in these kids. They are children. It's probably their first jobs ever. Cut them some slack. They're going to get really comfortable with the people they're portraying and they will get better. All right? I pray to God, I hope that Netflix and the showrunners follow the same outline that the fucking 
cartoon, I want to say anime, but the cartoon fucking did. And I hope they follow the same outline and do the three books and then Sozin's comic will be a movie separate from the three seasons. A Netflix original movie called Sozin's comic after season three. Because if they crunch all of book three and Sozin's comic in 10 episodes, maybe 12, maybe they extend it and they go 12, it's still not going to be good enough. Sozin's comic by itself needs to be a movie. The final battle, everything that happens that last day needs to be a movie by itself. That's all I'm saying. I really hope they don't drop the ball because people people are very decisive. Some people like this. Some people don't. This is a 50-50 in the audience. I think it's going back and forth on this. There's room for improvement. Yes, it's not perfect. But I'm, I'm, I'm very, very sure that this will get better. And I hope they don't drop the ball with these things that I mentioned. I really do. I want them to include the boulder. I want them to do the Easter Island players for sure. Um, and I want Sozin's Comet to be its own separate fucking movie. Hour and a half, hour and 40 minute movie separate from the three seasons so that it could do it justice to the ending. Because Sozin's Comet was long and it was perfect. Uh, I remember that little Nickelodeon movie when it finally came out and shit. Uh, but yeah. Anyways, uh, I'm excited. I'm happy. I can't wait for more of this is, is all I'm going to say. Uh, go watch this. I mean it. If you've seen it already, go watch it a second time to give it more views on Netflix. If you haven't seen it, please go see it. All right. We need more views. We need this to be really popular. We need these kids to fucking get better, get more confidence in their little, little asses and shit. Cheers, Avatar, Last Airbender, Netflix. Hey, if you like this kind of content, how about giving this a like and a subscribe? And if you want to watch the full show, click on the link on the right or check the description.